Hi, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and check in with a few weather watchers. I always like to jump over to the eastern shore. So, hi to one of our main men, Donald Green Jr. in Millington, Maryland. Twyla Floor in Waynesboro is at 63. Phil Cosmicki, Westminster, 61. Dean Nicewander in Aberdeen, 75. Dean, maybe take the match away from under the thermometer. Janet Tigler in Tawny Town, 64. Christopher Neff in uh, in uh, in uh, Westminster, 63. Robert Hislop, Parole, 67. You're getting the idea. Bob Woods, uh, Dave Hartman, and Dean. Everybody's pretty much in the mid-60s, with the exception of Dean, Dean Nicewander. 75. Dean, check it. And Dean's a computer guy. He will. 66 degrees right now, 36% humidity, a westerly breeze at 6. Barometer is at 3010. It's not an unpleasant day out in the sunshine. Your averages right now are 72 and 50. We're not going to get to 72, but we'll be four or five degrees shy of it. Look, close enough to call it a comfortable afternoon until clouds start to pile into the area. This cool pool of air still sits over the eastern half of the United States, courtesy of high pressure to the west of Lake Superior. You know, temperatures where the air coming from. And uh, we have a pretty good breeze kicking up through the afternoon forecast out of the north and west. Now, this high will sink down to the south, eventually become a heat pump. We'll get into a zonal flow, then a southerly flow. As we get to the week and weekend, notice the red arrows moving our way. Then once we get to Preakness Saturday, it's going to be Chamber of Commerce weather. More seasonal high temps in the low to mid-70s. Stray shower possible, but nothing that should really put a dent in Preakness Saturday or your Saturday. Clouds and sun get a little windy this afternoon. 68 is the high. We'll mention maybe that chance for passing shower. Partly cloudy winds calm tonight, 44 is low. Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram with your seven-day forecast coming up shortly now. Back to you.